Hello friends, in the previous session we learned about immediate addressing mode and direct addressing mode. In this session we will be particularly dealing with indirect addressing mode. So what is an indirect addressing mode? In this case the instruction contains the address to the address of the required operand. So in, in this form it is indirect. It is similar to the concept of pointers you see. So instruction gives us an address which is in turn containing the address of the required operand. Now there are two versions available of this. You can either perform a memory indirect operation or you could perform a register indirect. We will see both of them one by one. So first of all let us see what is a memory indirect operation. The basic syntax comes with this example. It says load ri, 1000 specified within this curve braces. So now this 1000 basically represents a memory address and since it is uh, embraced within these curve braces, it specifies that this is an indirect address. So we'll have to go, this, go to this address first which will contain another address. We'll have to f go to this address and this address basically contains our operand which we need to which we need to load in register ri. So this we load into our register ri. Right. So this is the manner the procedure works. So uh, as you see this curve braces basically represents the cascading and it can be cascaded using multiple levels. Like over here if I see this it has two curve braces right. So this is a double indirect operation. So, in this case, 1000 would contain an address which would again contain an address which would again contain an address which will be the address of my operand. So, you can easily visualize it if you practice it in the same manner as I did over here. So, that would be a good practice question for you all guys. So, let us see the next thing uh, which I wanted to state it over here was that this load ri, 1000 is also referred to as this load ri comma at the rate 1000 so it is specified as at the rate with an at the rate symbol also in some of the textbooks so please make sure that whenever you encounter this thing it is equivalent to this so previously we saw about memory indirect operation and now we'll see how a register indirect addressing mode is different from that so in case of a register indirect mode a particular example says that load ri comma B register enclosed within these curve braces. So over here again, this B register, what is this register? This register, the register specified within the curve brackets specifies the register containing the address of the memory location containing the operand to be loaded into the register RI. So basically this is the register which contains an address, right? Which is actually the address of the operand we need to load into this RI. So let's see how it works. So first we go to this register, register B, we fetch its contents, we move to this memory contents, these, mem these contents were actually the memory address of our operand. So we went to this memory address, fetched our operand and we stored it into this register RI. So this is how it works. So in the next session we will be dealing with the spatial addressing mode. See you guys in that video. Thank you.